the Battle of the Brothers that is officially going to be taking place next month, September, in New York. All of this was just announced two hours ago, and we have to get into this. Everything we know so far in less than six minutes. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. Guys, it is daily and consistent content. Please do subscribe to the channel. It's just one click. I'm trying to get to 340,000 subscribers. 340,000 of you guys, hopefully. Let's get into this video, just one click. So it's been announced, guys, that Prince Harry is going to be on his next trip. We know the royal family are seething in some way or, you know, wondering what this man does next because Harry is extremely tied to the royal family because he is the son of Diana, point blank, period. So Prince Harry has announced that he's going to be taking a power packed solo trip to New York in September. Prince Harry's next trip has officially been revealed. August 27th, a spokesperson for the Duke of Sussex announced that Harry is set to visit New York City during the UN General Assembly High Level Week to tackle climate change, something that William has been trying to do for a very long time. Prince Harry will be in New York to advance a number of his patronages and philanthropic initiatives. He will, be, he will participate in engagements with African Parks, number one, the Halo Trust, number two, the Diana Award, number three, and Travelist, their number four. Harry will also be furthering the work of the Archwell Foundation, the non-profit organization he co-founded with his wife, Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, the spokesperson has added. Multiple incentives, patronizes, patronage, sorry, a multifaceted individual who is taking part in different things going on. I love that. I love that. William could never, I'm so sorry, not, not for me to compare the two because I don't like to do stuff like that, but William could honestly never and multiple stuff going on. I'm going to repeat it again for you guys. African Parks, the Halo Trust, the Diana Award, Travelist, and also working with the Archwell Foundation. Now, the September timing is interesting because it coincides with another event happening in New York City for Prince William's Earthshot Prize. On September 24th, the Prince of Williams, Prince of Wales, sorry's Global Environmental Contest and Bloomberg Philanthropies will co-host the third annual Earthshot Prize Innovation Summit at the iconic Plaza Hotel. Prince William launched the contest in 2020 to inspire impactful approaches to the world's most pressing environmental challenges, which plans to award 1 million Earthshot Prizes in five categories annually until 2030. It remains unclear whether Prince William will attend the Earthshot Prize like he did last year, but most likely he will. The late September date does fall with his children returning to the summer, returning to school following the summer holidays. No expectations have been set for Kate Middleton to return to public work, obviously, because apparently her schedule has been cleared out for the rest of 2024 and 2025. But Prince Harry was last in New York in October 2023 for the Archwells Foundation's first in-person event. Harry and Meghan made two international trips this year to Colombia and also to Nigeria, which have both obviously gone viral and received nothing but great PR. Megan, no announcement of her, you know, going to New York. This is a solo trip for Harry. We definitely know now that William is absolutely going to be attending. I mean, that just hasn't been announced yet. He attended last year. Why would he be ghosted this year? Especially with Harry also being in New York. Both of them will be in the same city, it is believed, around the same time. And especially with Harry discussing and tackling climate change, that's meant to be William's thing. We know that Charles, in the Omer Scobie book, if you read that book, Charles was really pissed and upset that, you know, William was getting the attention when it came to foundation impacts, projects, charities, messages, whatever incentives he was trying to put out. Charles did not like that because obviously he's currently the, the king to the throne. So William, who got so angry because Meghan and Harry called Kate, Kate and not Catherine, is going to be fuming even more so. We know this man has temper issues. Fuming even more so with the fact that Harry is also now going to be in New York. Both at the same time both discussing climate change. It's going to be the battle of the brothers, unexpectedly. I'm here for it, and we'll just see who comes out on top. It is honestly gonna be very interesting. In other words, when it comes to Meghan Markle, Meghan Markle has had a remarkable financial impact on the Royal Foundation charity. One of the Dutch of Sussex projects has reportedly brought in more than $1 million. And, you know, these are impressive contributions. Ahead of the cookbook coming into fruition, Megan privately attended the Hub Community Kitchen, a wonderful grassroots project which honored the heritage of local people. Now, the true impact has been revealed via the Royal Foundation's annual report for 2023, and according to the Express, the cookery book generated £85,000, and that's not all. Since its 2018 release, the cookbook has raised a whopping £911,000, which is $1.2 million. 
Royal France took to social media to celebrate Meghan's influence and fundraising efforts. The Hub Community Cookbook will have a lasting impact on British communities for years to come, a testament to Meghan's remarkable achievements during her tenure as working of the, as a working member of the royal family. This is why they wanted Meghan out. This is why they despised her, because she was a threat, because they were intimidated by her, for the fact that one of her projects has helped to influence over a million in, you know, donations and work that has been raised and made in regards to cookbooks being sold is absolutely insane absolutely insane guys one of the projects has brought in more than one million dollars insane insanity 1.2 to be exact insanity the influence and just a couple of weeks ago, just a week ago she was speaking spanish in colombia before then she was being granted with new knights in, um, and new royal titles in Nigeria, she is a threat to the royal family because she is multilingual, multifaceted, much like Harry with all of the foundations that is going forth. The family don't like that because it puts them to shame. That is the only reason they despise Harry and Meghan. Well, one of many, one of the main reasons because they put them to shame when it comes to their work ethic. It's going to be the battle of the brothers. I'm intrigued now to see how this will turn out. He, Harry will be in New York for four of his patronages, somebody says. Literally four different events for his patronages. We stand a multitasking prince. I'm surprised that Meghan won't be there for archer related stuff as well, but evidently, you know, we'll see what takes place. Battle of the Brothers, guys. Battle of the Brothers, because the timing is very coincidental with William being there. This news just came out a couple of hours ago in the public stratosphere, so it's brand new, fresh news. I wish we were a bug on the wall, whatever you want to call it, in William's room to see his reaction to the fact that not only is he going to be in New York at the same time, not only is he doing more patronages than William, but also one of them includes climate change, which is something that William is passionate about. I would have wished to have seen his reaction because we know that man has anger management issues, wants to be number one everywhere. And when he is king, I feel like that ego is going to be even more inflated than it already is. I know I said six minutes, but I wanted to speak to you guys about it just for a little bit more. A very unexpected video. I did not expect to film this today, but I am intrigued to see where this is going to go. What's going to happen? I can't wait for the PR press. I can't wait to see the pictures, the images. Are William and Harry going to be under the same roof? I highly doubt that. Are they going to reunite in New York? I highly doubt that. Highly, highly doubt that. But both of them being at the same time, we know William is not going to like this. He's going to find this irritating, especially because the royal family don't have the intel that they used to have before when it comes to Harry's moves. They can't track him or what he was doing. They don't have the intel anymore to get into his schedules and find things and, you know, try plan ahead. They don't. This is why Harry's announcing this only a couple of weeks prior. Ah, oh, William is fuming. The Battle of the Brothers, guys. Bon appetit. Let's go. Subscribe, comment down below. Please send a super thanks. Shout out to the people who have my recent video. I really appreciate it when I get those notifications. There's a dollar sign there. You can send whatever you want. It goes a long way and definitely helps me to come out with more content to keep you guys informed. Please do subscribe, comment down below, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.